week's parsha, the Torah teaches us our halacha, that when you slaughter the meat, you slaughter the cow or any animal, and you find it to be not kosher, wasn't slaughtered correctly, or there was a blemish inside the animal, it's not kosher. So even if it, if it was a cow, kosher meat, but if it wasn't slaughtered correctly, it's not kosher and it cannot be eaten. And the Torah says, you shall throw it to the dogs. Now this sounds like, well, dog meat. Just throw it out into the garbage. And Rashi explains, no, the Torah is meant specifically throw it to the dogs because it's a reward to the dogs. A few weeks ago, when we left Egypt, there were security dogs at the gates of Egypt. And as the Jews were filing out, thousands and thousands of Jews, the Torah says the dogs didn't bark. And because they didn't bark, they are rewarded that whenever we have meat, which isn't kosher, we give it to those dogs. Now it's interesting, we see that verse a few weeks ago, seemingly insignificant, and here we see, weeks later, that it's actually a reward for them. And it's amazing how the Torah teaches us kindness. If someone's nice to you, even if it's a dog, nice to you, you have to remember, and forever, all generations, we endeavored to that dog, and we have to give our non-kosher meat to the dogs as a reward for not barking when we left Egypt. However, I think there's an additional message to that gift to the dog. You see, the Torah was written, unlike public understanding, Torah was written only at the end of the 40 years in the desert. People think that Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the five books and gave it out to the Jews. No. It was a revelation of Hashem to Moses, and he spoke to him. And Moshe learned the Torah upstairs in heaven. And throughout the 40 years in the desert, he gave it over orally. Only 40 years later, he wrote it down word for word. And 40 years later, at the end of the, de- the years of the desert, he wrote this wording that the non-kosher meat should go to the dogs. And people are thinking, what are the dogs? And they say, oh yeah, 40 years ago, something happened, the dogs were nice to us. I think this is a message when those dogs didn't bark and people could have said, I don't know if anyone noticed, the dogs themselves could have felt, did anyone notice? Did Hashem notice what we did? Now, of course, Hashem made them not bark. But the message for us is, you do something good, it could take time. But Hashem will never forget. Forty years later, you write down that verse, which every verse is written precisely from Hashem and a message for us, for all generations. Give. The dogs, their reward, they deserve it. We feel we do something good. And God, did you notice that? Hashem notices everything we do. It may be years later. But at a certain time, certain period, you'll be rewarded and thanked. We won't know why Hashem is sharing with us these blessings. Hashem never stays in debt to us. Do something good, you will be rewarded in the end. Thank you and good Shabbos.